channel and welcome to today's video spots and blemishes on the skin guess what today I have a wonderful spot remover this remedy is made up of just a few ingredients that is gonna work wonders on your skin it's gonna clear all that spots those blemishes and guess what if you have scars anywhere on your body this is gonna help to take care of that also so if you're interested in this video Continue Our first on. ingredient is onion, and I'm using red onion. However, use whatever kind of onion you have. I'm using onion in this recipe because onion helps to combat the appearance of dark patches and blemishes on the skin. Onion has a sulfenic acid, and this acid helps to lighten the skin. So using onion on your dark spots and blemishes is going to help to fade them really, really fast. Our next ingredient is aloe vera. And aloe vera is used for centuries for getting rid of spots and blemishes on the skin. Aloe vera is also very moisturizing on the skin and it is great for getting rid of your wrinkles and fine lines. So this combination is a wonderful combination for clearing spots, scars and blemishes on the skin. However, you got to prepare this in a certain way. Our next ingredient is castor oil, and this is black castor oil. However, use whatever kind of castor oil you have. Now, I'm using castor oil in this remedy because it contains fatty acid that helps in restoring the skin natural moisture. When you apply castor oil to the skin in circular motion, it will help to fade your spots, your blemishes, and your scars. Castor oil will also absorb deep in the skin and therefore getting rid of dry and flaky skin. Our next ingredient is vitamin E oil and vitamin E oil is also another wonderful oil that is great for the skin. It could help to clear the skin. It is loaded with antioxidant that is also going to moisturize the skin and keep your skin just soft, smooth and supple. Now I have an optional ingredient and this is orange oil. Now if you do not have orange oil, you can also use lavender oil. Orange oil is also great and spots and blemishes now I'm also using the orange oil for fragrance just to cut back on the smell of the onion okay you're also gonna need a blender for this recipe if you do not have a blender then you're gonna need a grater and you're also gonna need a strainer so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna prepare my onion and I'm just gonna cut open the onion like this since I'm gonna be blending now I'm using just a half of a large onion and I'm just going to take the outer peel off. This part is very dry so it's not going to blend properly. So just take the outer peel off. Now once this is done, here you have your onion and I'm just going to chop this in small pieces for easier blending. Now this remedy is one that you could store for a while probably up to two weeks in your refrigerator. So if you want to double up on the ingredients, go ahead and do so. So our onion is done and, and here it is. And now we're gonna blend. Now do not add any water to this. This is gonna make its own juice, okay? And here we have our blended onion and now we're going to strain this directly in our bowl. So we're just going to strain, just pour it in. And all we need from this is the juice. And squeeze. And one thing I like about red onion is that it don't really burn the eyes as much as the white onion. And here is our fresh onion juice. Now I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna move on to our aloe vera leaf. So here we have our aloe vera leaf and we're gonna use about a two ounces. So I'm just gonna cut a nice piece from this. Now for our aloe vera leaf, we're only gonna be using the gel and here is the gel. So to extract the gel, it's pretty easy. We're just gonna cut the sides like this, just cut both ends and 
you could see the gel so I'm just gonna place my knife right under as you can see and we're just gonna bring it down like this you need a sharp knife for this okay and there we take off the outer peel you can choose to scrape this if you do not have a blender just use a knife and scrape however if you have a blender just continue like what I'm doing here so we're reaching under the other side we're going right under there and and we're gonna bring the knife down just like we did the other side and reveal and this is it this is our halo vera gel now I'm gonna be blending this so I'm gonna give it a little chop it's very soft so you really don't need to chop it and next I'm gonna place this in the blender And just like the onion, you do not need to add any water to this. So I'm just gonna blend. Now you do not need to strain the aloe vera gel. This is what it looks like after blending. So I'm just gonna pour this out. There is no form of a lump or anything to throw out. So this is the fresh aloe vera gel. Now here we have all our ingredients. We have our onion juice. Halo vera gel, vitamin E oil, castor oil, Jamaican black castor oil, and we have some orange oil, essential oil that is. Okay, so I'm gonna use about three tablespoons of our halo vera gel, fresh halo vera gel, that's two, and I have just the exact amount, three tablespoons, and we're gonna match it the same amount of onion juice just give it a stir so we have one two three tablespoons of onion juice we have a little leftover just pour it in that's about a half a teaspoon now reaching for the castor oil and I'm using one teaspoon of the castor oil this is very strong so you do not need a lot so it's one teaspoon now for a vitamin e oil and mine has a dropper and this is 28,000 IU so I'm just gonna use a full dropper however depending on your IU if you have like 5,000 use a teaspoon okay next for our orange oil I'm gonna add a couple of drops to this just use a discretion on this probably about eight to ten drops and then you're just gonna blend and it smells really really good really nice so the orange oil is giving it a very refreshing smell now if you do not have the orange oil use some lavender oil okay and then you're just gonna blend this just blend mix well if you have vegetable glycerin you could also put a little in this to keep it a little longer wow absolutely no onion smell in this the orange oil did a number in this okay and your dark spots blemishes and scars remover is now ready now for storing i'm going to store mine in a container as a matter of fact i'm giving this away so i'm using this jar with a tight cover so you just need to pour it in your container or you could just cover it and put it in your refrigerator okay now to apply the dark spot remover, you're gonna need cotton pads or if you have Q-tips, it depends on the area that you have to cover. Now this can be used anywhere on the body. You can use this on your face, your legs, your thighs, your back, your buttocks, wherever you have dark spots, any form of a scars or hyperpigmentation, this can be used there. Now to use this, you always want to make sure to stir. Just stir it and do not dip in and re-dip. So you can choose to lean it like this and take a little on the cotton pad or you can choose to pour some in another container, just a little top that you're gonna be using. Put this away, cover it tightly, put it in your refrigerator and this is what you're using. You do not need a lot. You dip your cotton in and you apply to the area where you have your scars or your hyperpigmentation apply it in circular motion and give it a little bit of a massage now before you apply this please remember that you need to start with clean skin 
Now because of the onion, you might think it have a very strong smell, but it doesn't because the orange oil will help to combat the smell of the onion. So don't be afraid to use it in the daytime also. Now you're gonna leave this on the skin. As you notice, you can see it completely disappear in the skin. You're not gonna rinse this off. So apply it, wear it overnight. In the morning, you rinse off. Later in the evening, again, you apply. If you're using it in the daytime, leave it on for at least 10 hours. Just let it sit there and in no time you are on your way to clear bright looking skin okay now store this in your refrigerator for seven to ten days at least okay so there you have it if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to share the video and leave your comments and if this was the first time watching look below you're gonna see the word subscribe click on it and you will be subscribed thank you all and I'll see you in my next video Bye bye